podcast. My name's Dom Lahane. And for this podcast, have you, as you just heard in the intro, is one that I've been wanting to have for a long time, particularly as we are now here in England in our next lockdown. And many of you are thinking about a new direction in where you're going. So who could be better than actually talking about online education than one of the best, I believe, in the business. I'm a huge fan of his. I love his style. So delighted to welcome onto the show the incredible Chris Moody. Chris, welcome to How to Cut It. Ah, oh, Dom, thank you so much. It's such a pleasure to be here. I have to tell you, I, I got a real tingle just as uh, as the show was starting up there. It's uh, it's such a privilege. This really is the gold standard of podcasting, and it really is uh, it's so exciting, to be honest. Thank you so much for inviting me. What? I suppose because there are so that you know there are a lot of hairdressers out there and hair, hairdressing education has become so accessible but also I think you know in the UK all over the UK and Ireland hairdressing has always been at a very very high standard and I think people are recognizing in order to compete and to maintain that standard and to keep sort of pushing the barriers education has become more important than ever it, it's not enough now to just simply learn your craft over three years or whatever and then just go into your behind the chair and, and practice that craft things are changing all the time fashion technology taste styles and people are recognizing that they need to keep up with it so i think as more and more and then it becomes cyclical as more people recognize how much more there is to learn the more people feel the need to learn it so it yeah. becomes And, and, you know, the ultimate thing about education, Dom, is to make it relatable and transferable. Teach for transfer. This information only serves me if I can take it to my world and help it to solve the problems and the challenges that I have in my world. So if we can share that world with the people that we're working with and we can share those problems and challenges as well, it just makes our information just more relevant and transferable. Absolutely. What was that? Teach to transfer. Uh, yeah, yeah, teach to transfer or teach for transfer. Just, wow. just you know, the information that you're giving is really only relevant and meaningful if it, if it solves a problem. Ad adults, adults come to education, Dom, not, not necessarily because they're wanting to learn a subject. You know, when we go to school, uh, the, the information that we learn at school is subject focused. We learn about English and maths and numbers and science. But adult education is solutions focused. People seek education when they have a problem or a challenge when they've surpassed a, a threshold of pain and they can't stand it anymore I, I need to I need to fix this problem and so uh, the information that we share with them it has to be solutions focused and they have to be able to transfer it into their world so that they can use that information to fix the challenges that they have and live a more successful life that's ultimately what our aim is It's a mantra that I that I live. I, I, I came across this a long, long time ago. This quotation, maybe thirty years ago, I came across it, and, and the reason it's written the way it is for for people that are not watching the video, it's written all in green apart from three words, and the three words are written in red, so they really stand out. And the three words written in red say, "To teach, learn." So here's the thing: if you are going to put yourself forward as a teacher of others, you must forever remain a student. You must forever be learning. You know, it's. it's it's not enough to to be able to say right I, I, now I know everything there is to know I'm going to go and teach this all you ever are as a teacher Dom is a conduit you know you're a messenger you're, you're simply passing on information that you've gained and you're, you're channeling it through you and putting it in a way that people can use and understand uh, and, and people can take and make into their own you, you, you're a conduit of information, a, a messenger. That's all. You're not the. You're not. You're not kind of like the Messiah. It's not the gospel according <laughs> to you. you. Do you know? I <laughs> love that. I love that word conduit, and that's so so spot on. And you know, you're facilitating things, aren't you? You're, exactly. and, and there is a danger, Chris, that you could become complacent and just think, I know it all now. People just come to me oh. and you, you've got to keep progressing, haven't you, particularly as a teacher? Yeah, <clears throat> boom, boom. If you if, if you get to that point, then then you really have to kind of sit back, take a deep breath and, and re-examine yourself, you know, because, I mean, you used a great word there, facilitator. 
facilitation. Uh, and that's what, what I like to think of myself and most educators think of themselves as facilitators. And if you look at the root word, I, I love looking at root words, you know, like, uh, like over here we have the root word of education. The root word of facilitation is facile, to make easy, to make something easy. And that's, that's what you're doing. You're, you're, you're finding some friction between what people have and what they want, and you're trying to make that passage easy. You're trying to cut down resistance and, and give them an easier path to a, to a more successful life. But um, I, I'm with Simon Sinek on this. Simon Sinek once, once said, you know, um, don't ever refer to me as an expert in education. And I, I, I really believe that and I, I follow that. Uh, I never want to be known as an expert. And I say to people, be wary of people who tell you that they're experts, because that means that in their own mind, they've, all, they, they've already decided to stop learning anything else. They already feel they're at the top. And so for me, uh, I'm not an expert in education. I am a passionate student of education. I'm always studying education and passing what I learn on to others. That's, that's how I like to, to go through. First of all, let, let me just say that, that we talked about YouTube. YouTube is a great place to start just to get yourself used to speaking to a camera, speaking to a screen and preparing content. And <clears throat> YouTube is an amazing tool. However, it's important to remember that it's one tool. YouTube, uh, webinars, uh, remote classes, uh, offline, real life classes, they're all tools. And uh, uh, you know, they're, they're all mediums and they all serve a purpose and they all work together almost in tandem. So the first thing that I would say is first of all, th first of all, get out there and do something. Start to share the information you have with somebody. If standing in front of a camera uh, really scares you, if it makes you feel uncomfortable, then while you're at the salon, find a colleague, an associate, an apprentice, somebody that you can work with and say, you know, I have some information that I think can help you achieve this goal or I, can, I think I can help you get over this barrier. Can I just work with you and share this information with you? Start getting used to the idea of just opening yourself up and sharing the information that you have and passing it on to other people. Don't worry too much in the early stages about method and technique and equipment and all of this. The most important thing is that you recognize and nurture this inert desire you have to share. Because I think what drives good teachers forward, Dom, is that they, uh, first of all, I, I believe that good teachers are made not born. There's this thing about, oh, you know, the, uh, artists are born, not made. But with te good teachers are made, they're not born. However, they are made from people who are born with an inert desire to share information, an inert desire to want to give uh, and to want to help people uh, and, and benefit people. Uh, you know, uh, teaching is a very altruistic uh, occupation. It's a very altruistic act. It's, it's me taking all of my experience, all of my pain, all of my investment and passing it on to you so that you can get the same results with less time and less pain. That's, 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 that's our gift to you. So find somebody with whom you can do that and just start to see how that feels. Get used to opening yourself up and passing that information on to somebody. How can I help you become better today than you were yesterday? That would be my first step. Just start sharing. All the time people say, can anybody be a teacher? The answer to that is a categorical yes. Dom and everybody else that's listening, but if you if you take if you only take one thing away from this entire podcast, if you only take one thing away from me, take this. Everybody has somebody has something that they can teach to someone else. Everybody has something that they can teach to someone else. We all have something that someone else doesn't that we can pass on. It's just it's just having the mindset to be able to freely share to come from a place of an abundance. There's this mindset in some people that where they think if, 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 I, if I share all my information, if I tell you everything that I know, then you'll know as much as me and, and I'll lose out. And that comes from a place of, of scarcity. And uh, it's a terrible thing to see that. But, but le let me tell you this, the information, the knowledge that you have, they're, they're like tanks on your back and they're, they're, they're full of water. And, and water has to flow freely. It has to come in and go out. If water stays still, it stagnates and becomes toxic. And that's the same with information. It has to come in and it has to flow freely out. 
And, and I promise you, my friends, if you empty your tanks, don't ask me how, because I'm not smart enough, but somehow if you empty your tanks, the universe will fill them up fuller than ever they were before. So never fear that you're going to give your stuff away and, and that you will have less. By giving it away, I promise you, my friends, you, you'll have more. Uh, the, the universe will fill you up. So, so, so give your information uh, as, as much as you can. Share, share your information out as much as you can. And please believe me, you have something that will benefit someone else. So anybody can teach somebody something.